going on, you guys? It's your boy, Alex West Collects here, bringing you a very special figure review. Today, for the first time in over 20 years, we are receiving an Owen Hart action figure. Yes, we have the Ringside Collectibles AW Jazzers Luminaries Collection King of Hearts Owen Hart. It's crazy to think in 2022, we have an Owen Hart action figure. Unbelievable. Um, again, this is only available at ringsidecollectibles.com. When you guys shop there, use discount code for life. It will save you 10% off your order at checkout. This figure looks breathtaking in the packaging. I know when we uh, first heard Owen Hart action figures were coming, we we're all, you know, kind of anticipating what can we get? Are we going to see some of his uh, WWF gear? Or are we going to have to see some stuff from his Canadian Stampede or New Japan days? So, obviously, this figure is based on his earlier career run. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be possible for him to get anything, you know, in his WWF gear. Who knows? We'll see if we get something kind of a, a little homage to it. Maybe something a little close where we can kind of say, hey, this can be our Owen Hart kind of uh, early 90s, mid 90s run. But, you know, this figure is great. And again, it's Owen Hart. It's crazy to think that we have him here. Uh, you can see the accessories he does come with. You have a nice soft goods uh, black jacket. You have a championship belt. I'm not sure anything as far as where this belt is from. Uh, but, you know, it, it is something a little nice. And I remember when we saw the proto images of this figure, the belt looked a little plain. Uh, does have some more deco hits to it. Does look a little better in person. You also do get an interchangeable head. So you'll have two different head scans. Uh, he does have some kind of like basic attire with the black gear and the white boots. Something very different from what we're seeing with Owen Hart. He also does come with sunglasses. But look at this packaging. So this box is a little slimmer from what we're used to seeing with the ringside collectibles exclusive uh, aw figures those boxes uh, are very close to the supreme line uh, i do have another unrivaled figure here this is the new jungle boy which we will be doing a review on shortly you can see the size comparison of the box itself so it is not massive this will not take up a lot of room uh, on your display shelf but i do love the luminaries collection logo down here that looks very clean i got the lightning bolts here unfortunately mine's got a little bit of uh, uh creasing on there but not too bad on the side, look at this image of Owen Hart from back in the day. It's crazy to see the AW logo next to his image. But, um, you know, if this is what it takes for us to get an Owen, I'll take it. You can see the heart here on the top. The nice stars. Really nicely done. Even the top, you got the crown. This looks really good. Love how the AW packaging team has been doing these uh, artwork and boxes. See more stars here on hearts on the side. As well as the AW Luminaries collection with number 103 on the bottom. And look at the back. This is just such a nice tribute to Owen Hart. Absolutely love how that looks. You got the king of hearts on the top. The nice hearts surrounding him to just pay tribute. This is definitely a nice piece to keep in box if you're a mock collector. You can see the Owen Hart Foundation here on the left. And the Ringside Collectibles exclusive logo. But enough chatting. I want to get this figure out of the package and see what it's all about. Owen Hart is finally here in action figure form and we finally got him out of the packaging so let's jump into his accessories so you, again you do get an interchangeable head this one does have the headband tied around it and again there is another figure coming out I forget if it's unmatched or unrivaled wave but it's going to be very similar it's going to have this head scan I think he's got red and there's a chase with him in blue attire again I don't really remember 100% but the head scan I can see a likeness to Owen not the greatest to be honest but i mean it's okay i don't dislike it again i don't really remember him wearing a headband i want to say this is is this canadian stampede again i don't know man i don't really know the era i'm going to be totally honest with you guys uh, i'm not going to sit here and try to bullshit you but um he did wear a headband i did see some of the images released of him wearing this so definitely accurate let me know what you guys think of this head scan i mean definitely the nose likeness is there the, the bright blue eyes are definitely there Something about the expression, though, doesn't quite scream Owen Hart. It's kind of a little plain, but I can see the pissed off look. And he's a little light as far as accessories. I would have wished he came with some interchangeable hands, but he does also come with this championship belt. Again, not the most detailed belt. Does have some silver design on there, as well as a little gold accents, too. Doesn't look bad, but again, very plain. It is kind of a thicker strap, uh, which I don't really care for with the, uh, the Jazzers line. But, you know, again, I don't know what this belt is based off of, but it doesn't look bad. Um, for what they have, again, it was nice for them to throw in a championship belt. I'm sure it was tough to kind of figure out what this figure should come with accessories-wise. Uh, but you do also get this nice soft goods jacket. You can see the nice kind of designs here on the front with the buttons. This feels very premium, very soft. I do like the silver here. Um, look at the back, Owen Hart with the hearts. That looks so sick. I really do like how that came out. My only concern, again, is 
is this jacket gonna stain the figure? Um, you know, is it enough, nice enough to for me to uh, risk that and keep it on the figure? So that is something to keep in mind. I know these uh, soft goods have been staining the Jazzwares figure, so remember, keep that in mind. You are running a risk by leaving it on, but you can see even the nice pocket design here. It does Velcro here on the front. You can see here. Do I have, I do have some slight staining. Ah, oh, that sucks. So I guess that answers that. You can see on the shoulder. How bad is it? Oh, come on, guys. See, this is disappointing. We waited how long to get this Owen Hart, and he's fucking stained, man. That pisses me off. And if you guys can see that, um, staining on the shoulder. Just, guys, start packing this these soft goods on the side or use some different fabric because this is ridiculous, but... That's going to put a damper on my review for sure. It just kind of puts me in a bad mood. But again, just disappointing. This is his first figure in how long? I mean, just like the CM Punk figure. Like, we waited forever for a CM Punk figure. We were all excited for his return. And they give us a CM Punk with the hoodie on, and it stained the hell out of the figures. And it's only going to get worse the longer you keep it on. Again, if you guys want a quick close-up look, you can see it. And it is not awful but it's just like why are we still dealing with this but anyways let's move on to the figure we're gonna try to do our best to not be pissed off during this review you can see this looks like a different torso design more of the bulkier um kind of sculpted torso and i don't think we've seen this in the aw line this looks to be new uh, you can see he's got the stars on his gear here on the front got the designs on the side very kind of simple again just stars and kind of like lightning bolts um, he does have the plain white boots, so I do like the sculpt of the boots. They they do look nice, and let's go ahead and remove these sunglasses because um, obviously uh, they are removable and interchangeable. You can see the nice sculpt uh, slides in actually through two different uh, ports of the hair here. And now let's look at this head scan. So I remember seeing the first images, and I was like, oh, little rough. It looks better in person. Is it perfect? Is it? It's okay. It's not the best, but you know what? I will say it doesn't look as bad as it did um, in the original images. Here's the other head, and if you want to interchange it, let's pop the head off and throw the headband head on there. You can see how that looks. Um, so that actually doesn't look too bad either. Let me know in the comments down below which scan you like a little better. I know we've been giving the uh, the Jazzwares guys a lot of hate with some of these figures lately and the quality, but... Remember, they are people too. These guys work hard. I do respect them. I'm going to give my honest opinion, but I, as a community, we could be a little nicer. I just want to point that out there. I feel like some people really are attacking these guys like they're trying to sit here and give you shitty product or give you figures that are staining, but there are things we are not privy to that are our, out of our control. Let's just keep that in mind. I didn't want to point that out because I do think that Jazzwares team is doing a great job and, you know, the line is still fairly young. I want to see more improvements. You know, there's sometimes they've been knocking figures out of the park with the Supreme line, and there are other ones that, you know, really kind of shit the bed. But anyways, let's come back, and we're going to run through some comparisons. For our first set of comparisons, we have two of my favorite Bret Hart Mattel figures in my collection. I did swap these heads out with the Elite 94, so we have the Ultimate Edition on here on the right, and on the left, we have the Defining Moments Bret Hart, and you can see how they stack up versus the newest Owen Hart figure. Here we have Owen next to his Hart Foundation counterpart, so we have Jim the Anvil Neidhart, we have the British Bulldog, Brian Pillman, and Brett the Hitman Hart. Here we have a few different Mattel Elite customs that I've put together. So on the left, we have, based on his 97 run, 96 run with the Hart Foundation, he's got the slammies, he's got kind of the, uh, I think that's a defining moment to Bret Hart upper body, and the lower legs, I think I used uh, an Elite Tyson Kid. Here on the right, I did purchase this from my boy Steinberg Customs on Instagram. Hit him up. Uh, he did this torso swap, and I threw the Kenny Dykstra heads on there to kind of complete the look. I always felt like that was a good spot for Owen Hart. Um, but, you know, I do want to try something. So, in my mind, I wanted to keep this figure to swap this head on this body to see how it looks. To kind of give me maybe um, a 1993-94 Owen Hart. The skin tone may not match perfectly, but I'm curious to see how it fits on this head. If it fits at all, to say the least. And unfortunately, that did not work at all. You can see the head just sits way too high on that body, but I did want to show you that. I did attempt it. Um, I actually do think the head would look pretty decent on there if I could figure it out. I think maybe if I dremel the head out and, and kind of maybe um, create some extra space in there, it could sit a little better on the neck and maybe would work as a custom. But in case you guys were wondering uh, maybe how this head works on a Mattel body, for this particular figure itself, it did not. 
And before we wrap up with some final thoughts, if you guys haven't already, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. For you guys new to the channel, I appreciate you guys checking out this video. We hope you guys have enjoyed. And we'll subscribe on Instagram for more reviews coming up down the road. We still have the AW Unrivaled Series 11 Jungle Boy Cup. We have the Hasbro Sergeant Slaughter G.I. Joe Classified figure. So tons of great more figure content. I'm sure we're getting tons more figures from ringside uh, during the holiday season. So make sure to turn on those notification bells and stay tuned to this channel for more reviews. Now... I want, <laughs> I really want to be honest with this figure. This, keep in mind, this is supposed to be a celebration of Owen Hart's career. Um, you know, it's been such a long time since we've gotten really any Owen Hart merch. Uh, we got a few t-shirts, the micro brawl, brawlers came out. And now we actually have our six inch, seven inch action figure. I know it's far from perfect. I know this is not the version we all wanted of Owen Hart, but it is a way to get a figure out to celebrate his career. Now, with that being said, at this price point, um, with the accessories he comes with, I feel like are lacking. I would have liked some interchangeable hands or something. You kind of only get these two open hands. You get this obscure championship belt, which I think a lot of us could have done without and had a lower price point. I mean, this is a $40 figure at ringside. I'm sure it's a very limited run, so I understand why they're charging more. This is not something that is going to hit retail. But the biggest disappointment to me is not even the head scans because I actually feel like this smiling scan looks a lot better in person. I'm going to find a way to make this work on my Mattel figure because I do think this would be great uh, for an early 90s WWF uh, Owen Hart if you can find the right custom parts to put it together. Uh, the head scan with the headband, it's eh. I'm not crazy about it, but again, I do see a little bit of a likeness. The biggest disappointment is the staining on this figure. I mean, again... We waited how long? This is twice now that we've had this kind of a little bit of a letdown. Uh, again, I was very excited for the CM Punk figure to come out. He had that black hoodie, and it stained the figure. Uh, I was very excited for this Owen Hart, and I feel like this material of this jacket is very similar to that CM Punk hoodie. It's staining the figure. And it's not that noticeable, but I'm sure this is going to be an issue. I'm sure a lot of people who are spending their hard-earned money are getting tired of you know paying a premium for these exclusives and having issues with them and i think that's the biggest problem i mean personally i had an issue with uh one of my supreme cody's his face was just completely misprinted uh one of his coats was had a lot of errors on the the paint deco on the sleeves i contacted jazzwares customer service and they couldn't offer me a replacement so i mean you you can't remedy the issue we are having issues with these figures. Um, and when you reach out to their customer service, they offered me, I think, uh, Scorpio Sky or Kazarian figures that are peg warming everywhere. I mean, you're paying a premium for this figure. They should be able to have a replacement or something, have a running change, or just stop, you know, start putting the, the soft goods on the side of the packaging. I know this jacket looks pretty cool on the figure. I get what they were going with. A tribute to Owen Hart. And it, it is a nice looking piece. Same with the CM Punk hoodie. I really like that hoodie. But unfortunately, I can't display him with it on it because it's just going to stain the figure even worse. I know some people say throw the, uh, the soft goods in the wash, but it's not even the point. The point is that it's on the figure and it's going to stain it. So again, uh, that is my rant. Uh, that really, you know, took the wind out of the sails for me as far as uh, this figure. So my excitement really did drop. And I'm not going to say skip this figure because, again, it is a celebration of Owen Hart's career. We are going to get more Owen Hart, so maybe this is not the Owen Hart for you to get. Um, but if you do, are, if you are a big Owen Hart fan, or I don't think this is a bad figure, but chances are it will have some staining. Again, this is only available at ringsidecollectibles.com. Use promo code 4 It will save you 10% off your order at checkout. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more great figure content. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video review, and I'll catch you all on the next one.